It is the Saturday morning edition of The Lawn. You were talking about lung cancer in our question today. The guys that join us, as always, on a Saturday morning attorneys, Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Fresh with their cup of coffee, uh, guys, how's it going? There's today? nowhere that we would rather be than here on a Saturday morning with you. Well, the issue is you don't get coffee better anywhere else. No way. And this is better than any cartoons that are running. Oh, <laughs> I mean, this, is, yeah. this is entertainment. I mean, what else are you going to do? Watch the Smurfs? I mean, yeah, this, this is the place to be. All right, here's our go. question today, and this involves uh, lung cancer. Marion Dunmore wants to know, my sister died from lung cancer. She was not a smoker. She went to her family doctor for years with a cough, and he never did anything. I think he missed it. What can I do for her family? Is there anything that can happen here? Is there any legal recourse for, for this? You know, Mary, the answer is uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I think that if there was an autopsy that was done on your sister that, uh, you know, really spelled out uh, what type of cancer that she had, where it, you know, where it started from. Uh, and you can kind of go back and look at when it ultimately was diagnosed, how big the mass was. You might be able to, you know, make an argument that if they would have looked at or done some scans at an earlier point in time, they would have diagnosed it. But uh, if she's just having a cough, um, I, I, I'm not sure that there's really a case there. Was to a be. smoker, too. No, not a smoker. Not That's what I say. She okay. was not a smoker. So... I, I'm, I don't know. I think we need a little bit more information, have to see the medical, you know, the really specific medical records on this one. You know, but Ed, Ed brings up a point that, you know, we, we have to deal with quite often is like people will call and during the course of, let's say, the, the, the person passing away, they have questions and they never ask for an autopsy. Yeah. No. And like, you know, and, and again, that's not the, what you want to be doing, but, you know, if you think about it, if you need to prove something, all the evidence is inside the person that passed away, and it's got to be looked at. And from when you're asked from a legal perspective, hey, what can I do? Well, we need an autopsy. So I mean, I think it, you know the you know to take from this is if you're you're unfortunately had to go through this or going through a situation, you might want to think about asking that question sooner than later. Uh, you know, no to have an autopsy because yeah. how many times have we had to reject cases? Yeah, no over? doubt, the most of the time, the answers to many of the questions lie in that you know in that autopsy. Uh, it, it is an uncomfortable conversation that people have to have, but it really is a necessary one, especially if you have questions. So it's an uncomfortable situation, a difficult time with the yeah. death, and if someone finds themselves in this position and needs to talk to you, what's the best way to reach and, you? And, and I think what, to call us, but you know, if you're going through that situation, you should ask for legal advice during that time. No doubt. But you know, if you're having that situation, but you call us 570-714-HURT. See us on the web at 714hurt.com. Or uh, go to uh, Facebook, Twitter, any of the social media outlets. If you have a question, put it on our page. We'll do our best to answer in an upcoming segment. All right, results matter with attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Guys, we will see you on Monday. Take All care. Right. Don't forget, PAHomepage.com and the Law New Hotline are always open.